Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm going to start the tutorial. I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors my palette. I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw umber. So I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, and these are my brushes. I'll be using number 12 um, nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 11 nylon flat brush. Oh no, I mean um, bristle flat brush long handle number 8 nylon flat brush long handle uh, long handle yeah and number 7 nylon flat brush short handle I also have here number 3 nylon flat brush short handle and number 1 nylon brush oh no I mean 0 nylon brush for the details you can also use number 1 double zero triple zeros okay okay that's it so this is my canvas it's um, 10 by 12 inches it has three coats of prime white acrylic and also use gesso i made it myself and water to tint the paint and water spray if, if we're gonna need this to smooth in our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay that's it so uh, okay guys so i think i'm going to start painting now and today i'm going to paint um something like just um just still uh, uh um a landscape painting but i'm going to create a huge mountain and i'm going to put a river yeah something like that and also some rocky river banks oh. so that will be my plan I'm, I'm not yet sure if i'm gonna do that or what i'm, I'm not sure if i'm going to put uh, other elements or whatever comes to my mind while I'm painting so this is uh, a process guys I'm not sure if I'm not sure with my idea today but I'm going to just paint whatever that that I feel uh, or what comes to my mind okay so I'm going to start now and I'm going to start with the sky first I'm going to, it's gonna paint the sky first and I think I'm going to make the sky um, cloudy yeah I mean I'm gonna make it a little grayish with some shades of white some yellow stone or something like that okay so so I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna paint a blue sky today yeah so I'm gonna use the the blue and the red to make some purple just mix the two colors to make some purple and some white to, to lighten the color there so let's just put it here and I think I'm gonna spray it with water to make it soft or wet with this with the water spray okay there So I'm getting I'm gonna divide to the painting here. This will be the rice on here and it's gonna start the base of the mountain here. Okay. It's gonna put more red there. And more white. Yeah, it's a gray sky. Well, I'm going to put more white on the base there I'm gonna mix for another purple the 
some white there I think I just fill this sky with uh, this um, purplish color or grayish color or bluish gray color yeah that's how I'm going, to, I'm going to describe this color now okay I think I need to spray more with water because my canvas is so rough it's hard to blend the colors so we need to add more that's it and I'm going to mix for another purple blue and red only And I think I'm going to create a huge, um, a huge mountain here. Yes. And it's still wet, so that's that's why we need to let it dry first. But that will be the. We're gonna put the mountain there. Another small mountain here and some distant mountain there, there okay yeah and I think I'm gonna put the light on the left side yes so, as I as I always do I always put the, my light source coming from the left side so today I'm gonna do that also again and again and I'm gonna use some yellow and red to make some orange and white another yellow and white let's gonna put some yellow stone on our sky yes because it's um, an afternoon scene so I'm gonna put some yellow stone here. That's it. And don't worry if your sky doesn't look right. It's okay. Just follow what I'm doing and I'm going to put mix for more purple, red and blue color. Let's add more purple here. More red and purple. So I just have to cover it here, something like this. I know what you have to do is just blend the colors. like a cloudy sky now and I'm gonna put more white there here yeah. I'm gonna put more white okay more white here Okay, it's so wet now, so 
yeah, that's it. So let's proceed to the mountains. So I'm gonna paint a darker color. I'm gonna mix for darker color, blue and purple, blue and red to make it purple. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue in here. I'm gonna add more blue there. So let's just cover this part with this color. It should be darker, okay. And I'm using the same brush. So all you have to do is just um, cover the entire area with a darker purple. So I'm gonna mix again. It should be more bluish and I'm going to add a little white on it. And also I'm gonna put the horizon here. So let's fill this part with the dark color, okay? It should have no white um, traces of canvas behind the paint. So all you have to do is just fill this part with, uh, with only one color. But it, it's okay guys if there's some tints of whatever colors you're mixing, it's okay. If it's, if it's not perfectly uh, blended, it's okay. As long as there's no white uh, backgrounds, you see. Okay, so I'm gonna add more blue and white. So here. Again, it's gonna fill this part with this color. It's a light or a grayish blue color, guys. If it feels hard, just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it wet, so that it will be easier for you, easier for you to blend the colors, or to blend the paints on your canvas. There, so, yeah. That looks better. And I'm gonna use again here. I'm gonna extend the mountain here. That's it. Okay. I like that. Okay, next we're gonna paint some. I'm gonna put some uh, something here on the river, but I think I'm gonna add some river bank here. And by doing that, I'm going to sketch first. So I'll be using this raw umber color. It's the darkest I have, but if you want to make it dark, look like black, 
you need to add blue on it we're gonna mix it with blue to make it dark okay so I'm going to paint some huge rock here this will be a really huge rock this is a rocky river it bigger there okay there so this part will be um, a river or a lake. I'm not sure if it's a river or a lake. Let's just see what will uh, come out. Okay, now I'm going to use more umber with blue to make it dark or look like black. There, I'm gonna add more blue. More blue and black. Oh no, I mean raw umber. So all you have to do is just fill this part with this dark color. You can actually apply the raw umber directly, it doesn't matter. it now we're gonna put some color of our river river lake or whatever okay so I'm gonna make it a little bluish with some green stone or yeah something like that so I'm gonna use the green the yellow and the, the blue to make it blue green I'm gonna add more blue and a little red in it to make it dark Yes, I like this color. But this is not yet the final color, guys. We still need to put lots of tones, or lots, lots of colors in, in there. I'm gonna add more red and yellow and white. Sorry. I'm gonna put more uh, a little purple color. So just blue and red and white. I think I'm gonna spray it with water to make it soft.
So again, guys, just blend all the colors on the background. No, on the first tone or the base color here. This part is a little lighter, but anyway, this is just the uh, the background color. This is not the final yet. It's okay if whatever color you're gonna put, as long as it's something like greenish or grayish or something like that, or I like. Okay, that's it. So you have now the the first the first step. Next, we're gonna put some details on our mountain I mean I am really excited doing that so I'll be using a smaller brush which is the number 8 flat brush okay so I'll just follow what I'm doing and if you're painting with me just enjoy and relax we're gonna mix for some greenish color so I'm gonna use some blue and of course yellow to make some green and red add more blue to make it more blue green and mix it with this color white here and add a little white and again our light is coming from the left side so all the highlights will be on the left side okay so here I'm gonna start it should be lighter I'm gonna add more white Always remember if you're gonna put some, we're gonna put some highlights. Make sure that uh, the highlight is lighter than the background, the background color, which is the, which is the grayish blue or the purple. So again, can I do it something like this? I'm gonna put more red on it and yellow. Just red and yellow white there you go the color is brownish again 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 do not overdo it okay so So this, these are some forests on our on this uh, mountain. Forests, bushes, leaves, or whatever. Soils, yeah. And it should be light enough. So here, it's still wet. gonna put some green here I am adding um, red to the green color because it will make the color matured yes Here, I'm gonna put more green color. Just do it a little, guys. Little by little. Just make my um, soft strokes. There. So you have now some. We have no mountain, distant mountain. Okay, so far I like it. Now we're gonna put some highlights here. I'm gonna put really um, um, highlights, really hard highlights. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. 
So I'll be using some the umber with some yellow and red. And I'm gonna put some white. There, it should be a grayish brown color. There. I'm going to put more white on it and some umber there and also here again also this part this will be some really high clips there I like it okay Just do it slowly and carefully and of course the no receiver do not overdo it. So here I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put some snow on this mountain here. It will be a snowy mountain, yeah. And some green color here. I'm gonna put some green on that mountain. Some traces of green color. Blue and white. Gonna put more blue green. This is a broken color, guys. It will look like um, some forest on the distant. Just do it a little, little by little, and carefully to make it look realistic. I'm gonna put more green here on this part. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks realistic now. And I'm gonna use some more blue and a little white. Let's put a little um, highlights on the on the right side. This part should be dark. But we're gonna put some bluish color here. Bluish tone to make it look something that there are forests on the on the back on the back. Okay. So far I like it. And I'm going to add more white on this color. Make it more lighter. Or lighter, there's no such thing as more lighter, okay? So here we're gonna put some highlights on this far mountain. It should be darker. And also here. Again, do not overdo it. 
just add a little um, shades of blue green color to make it look like some forest on a distance okay that's it yeah I love it looks realistic now okay what else I think I'm gonna put some snow on this on this mountain here some traces of snow and I'll be using smaller brush like the number 7 flat brush it's smaller gonna use this white blue and a little amount of red to make it just make it um, a blue violet Okay, I'm going to add more white to make it lighter. And let's add some snow here. There. And also here. And also here, gonna put more snow. There. And of course, in the distant mountain here, gonna put. Some, some more snow here. Snow mountain, okay. There. And we're gonna put some highlights on the snow. Just use the white, the pure white. And let's get to put some highlights there. nice and also here okay yeah don't overdo it that's it Now let's continue adding more details. So I'm going to put more uh, cliffs here on this on this mountain here. It's it's way near to us compared to this mountain in the back. So I'll be using the same brush. With this brownish color here, I'm gonna use some raw umber and white. And let's put some clips there. Let's 
to be some rocky cliff. here I'm gonna put more more highlights yeah that looks realistic next we're gonna put some white um, lines on the on the river or the lake I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm going to make it I think it's it's a river than lake yeah so I'm gonna use some more white here and some red a little amount of red and yellow or you can use brown also And I'm using the same brush, this is the number 7 flat brush, short handle. And just create a white line. From left to right. Yeah, that's great. And of course, another one here. Just put a, just put a little gap. Okay. Yeah. I think that looks realistic. Next, we're gonna. Yes, I'm going to start adding details on these rocks here. So I'll be using another brush. This is this number seven butt brush, number eight. I'm sorry, and I'm gonna use the raw umber and blue. And I'm gonna make this part shallow on this this part of the river. So I'm going to use some light brownish color. So I'm gonna use the umber, the yellow, and the red, and some white to make it lighter. More brown. That's too much. I'm gonna add more white and umber. There. This will be some bed rocks. So just do it this way, guys. Just short, um, big strokes to create uh, an illusion that there are some rocks or huge rocks 
on the river or on the or underwater And I'm gonna use more blue and red to make some darker purple and yellow to make it greenish and paint it here. This part will be sh um, deeper, so that's why it's uh, it has dark color. I'm gonna add some more blue color, more bluish. So this part should be. Um, deep. Yeah. I think I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna refill some blue on my palette. Sorry. <laughs> gonna use this blue color with some purple and yellow. And I'm gonna use some more blue and white. But I'm gonna Okay. I'm gonna add more purple. It's a more lighter purple guys. And let's put some Highlights here, just a little highlights to make it look like there's um, it's a reflection from the sky. And also here. And I think I'm gonna start adding some on the river bank. So I'm gonna use this row umber with some white there. And let's put some few rocks here. It should be a little darker. Got some more highlights here. Okay. So I'm gonna add more highlights here. Some few rocks, soils, or whatever. Ok, 
Okay. We're not highlights here. So again, all the highlights should be on the left side. But this is not the final yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it um, lighter later. Okay, it's a little greenish color. Yeah, this is not a highlight yet, but I'm gonna put a little here on the back. Yes. And now I'm gonna put some more details on the riverbank. Okay, it will be some orange. Um, I'm not sure what they call this, guys. It's um, algae, orange algae on the on the river, on the riverbank. So I'm gonna add some white. Okay, so let's put more here. There. So just use a um, small brush, the number 7 flat brush, short handle. Or some medium size flat brush. If you are asking guys if I have a reference on this one, actually I have a basis, but I, I, I'm not really copying it, just I'm getting the idea of how it That's how I did it. I just create um, um, another, I just create not so, um, I just create a um, manager. I'm not sure if we're gonna call it um, uh, not exact scene but the same lake but it has a different um, look or something like that it should be different from the ref from the reference to make your painting more original okay to make this painting more original you can copy but do not copy everything Just make use of it as your guide, not yeah. Just like I'm, just like making this tutorial. This uh, this tutorial are just the guides, your guides, guys. So that you, you can you can create your own original painting. Actually, I do not recommend you to copy this one. Just you can follow, but actually, in the future, you can create your own. And I'm gonna put more white. There.
just wanted to make this part lighter okay yes I love it now we're gonna start adding some details some highlights on the rocks I'm gonna make that part lighter I'm gonna make this riverbank uh, I'm gonna put more rocks in the riverbank Okay, there. Can I put a few rocks in this uh, river bank? Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna add some more details, lighter. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put more rocks and I'm gonna put some more highlights using this lighter um, color. I'm going to put more rocks here. Okay, just going to put more highlights on this rock. I think when, uh, I'm going to refill my white. So we're gonna put plenty of rocks on this bank or 
river bank. I'm gonna put more highlights on this um, some small rocks or whatever Highlights there. Okay. And I'm gonna mix more orange, so red, umber, and yellow. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. And let's put more or some brownish stone on this rock here. Brownish, greenish, or yeah, something like that. I'm gonna put more greens, so blue and yellow. So I'm gonna put more lighter green here. Okay. I'm going to put more underwater rocks there. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put more green here. Okay, I think yeah, I think I am done guys, so so far, I'm contented with the result and I like it. I like the rocks, I like whatever I put in this painting. 
So, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video today and my advice to keep on practicing, keep on, practicing, keep on painting. The more, the more how to use your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, thank you guys. My advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. Okay, so please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all.